Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, I'm John, and I feel pretty great today. This is day three on our mini keto cut. Um, I woke up this morning and got on the scale and was a few pounds lighter. Uh, weighed in at 196 this morning after a full day of IF yesterday and uh, some fasted cardio. We had a pretty good sized meal, but we still came uh, within our macros. And I did forget to put those in the in the last video, guys. I'm really sorry about that. I did go ahead and put it in the description of the last video. And I think it was 75% fat, 19% protein, 6% carbs for a total of 2,008 calories for the day. So we really nailed it. And I'm really super excited about that. We're on the right track here. And moving forward, I'm just going to try to do my best to stay accountable and keep on doing a really good job on it. So my ketones to work climbing as of today, I, I'm pretty sure I'm in the clear now. I can safely say that I ate, you know, 600, 700 grams of carbs on Sunday and didn't get kicked out of ketosis. That absolutely baffles me. Like, I don't know how that's possible. This is Wednesday, so I just figured by now I would have been kicked out if... I was gonna be kicked out at all. Yesterday I was 0.4 and today I came in at 0.7. So we are climbing, which is great. So just to update on that, I feel good guys. Um, not really feeling any effects whatsoever anymore from the carb day. Um, I still don't think that I'll ever do an epic cheat day like that. Um, you know, I'm gonna be probably just keeping it keto friendly for a while. So. I'll go ahead and bring you guys along today for day three. I'm getting ready to head to the gym to hit some buys and tries, really get a good pump. Um, I did have an issue with my gym where they said they had a, a kind of a problem with me filming if there are people there. So I might only be able to get uh, workouts in uh, on film um, on the weekends where there's less amount of people there and less staff. So we'll see how that goes, guys. I'm sorry about that, but hopefully we'll continue to get some good cardio um, footage and I'll, I'll try my best guys so we will see you soon talk to you later what is happening everybody arm day was great Got a good pump in. Remember, I told you guys if you have trouble getting a pump on keto, take about a tablespoon of salt <clears throat> in your palm of your hand, put it on your tongue, and drink it down with some water, and you will definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely feel that pump at the gym. So I was thinking about it, and I was wondering, um, you know, why my ketones were pretty low today. I was at 0.7, which is uh, low for me. Maybe it has something to do with the epic cheat day, but it is climbing. But I was thinking about work and I was really stressed out at work last night and you know getting stressed out does raise cortisol levels and you know that can essentially knock you out of ketosis at times so it's just important guys and I get to pre practice what I preach and learn from um, my mistakes but we definitely want to try our best to handle those stressful situations the best we can so I need to do a better job of not letting the job stress me out you know I just got to accept all right you know, I'm in a bad situation right now, but, you know, let's let's work through it and don't let it phase you because the worst thing you can do is let it get you all wound up. And then uh, so I just was thinking about that. I was like, well, maybe that had something to do with it being lower. Who knows? But either way, it's a good message. I feel like everybody could uh, try to let stress not affect them so much. And we all do it. And I'm going to continue to try to get better at it. I've gotten a whole lot better at it over the years. So hopefully all we can do is get better. Um doing a little bit of work here speaking of work <clears throat> i'm not a trainer or anything like that guys and i'm actually going to try to pursue how to become one uh, maybe get certified or i'm not sure in my state if you have to be certified but i do i have a passion for fitness and i just want to help people and i want to give back and i want to you know teach people um, that you can be fit you can be healthy even if you were super heavy because i was 350 pounds and now you know, I'm in the best shape of my life. So I just want to help people and, and get them to feeling good like I feel. And I'm so glad I found the keto diet, guys, because I, man, I just wish I would have found it sooner, you know, because I lost all that weight, you know, just on the grind of, of fitness and, and diet. But 
had I found the ketogenic diet, it would have just been that much easier. And it should never be easy. Obviously, it wasn't easy for me. And it probably wouldn't be for somebody even on keto um, at that heavy of a weight. But it would have made things a lot easier, I feel, for me. I just, it's just really the holy grail of diets, like I've told you guys before. But I am trying to work on a weight loss plan for my boss. And she obviously knows I'm not a trainer or anything like that. I just, my advice of what I believe would help her to lose some weight. And this is actually what I want to pursue doing one day. You know, I want to try to make these workout and meal plans for people who are overweight and want to get into better shape. And I just want to help them. So um, I really enjoyed this process. I stayed up pretty late last night uh, writing all this stuff down. And now I'm trying to put it together so I can print something off to take her um, to show her today and just get ask her a few questions. And then it'll be the rough draft. And then we'll try to finish it up this weekend. But... Just a little bit of an update. Um, I'm still fasted right now. I've just had a couple of black cups of coffee. And I think I'm going to fat fast until dinner. So what that basically means is I'm just going to ingest fats until I have my dinner. So I'm just going to make a really big bulletproof coffee, I think. And that should keep me satiated until dinner. Because I do ultimately want to move um, to only two meals a day on days that I'm not fasting. Um, so I think the bulletproof coffee will help me do that. So I'm so happy to be bringing you guys along on this journey. And I hope you guys are actually trying to cut too. Let me know if, if the tips are working and if there's anything, you, if you have any questions, just let me know, put them in the comments guys, cause I'm an open book. So I'm here to help. And that's just really all I want to do is just inspire and help people. So we will see you guys soon. All right, you guys getting ready to make my bulletproof coffee. One tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. One tablespoon MCT oil. And then one tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm gonna add some stevia to this. And this will be our um, fat fasting uh, meal. So we should be good till lunchtime. So see you guys soon. Good evening, guys. Dinner time or lunch time? Sorry, I always get those messed up because my uh, dinner time is not your dinner time because I'm on second shift. But I have some zucchini noodles here at the bottom, and it's almost like a lasagna. I've got some Rails uh, marinara sauce, some cottage cheese, a little bit of pepperoni, just maybe like six or seven slices, and then about six ounces of or three ounces of uh, Italian sausage, three ounces of 80-20 ground beef and some mozzarella cheese in there as well. So again, probably at the end of the night, I'll do the macros. And I did forget last night, guys, but I did put it in the description of the last video. And we got about a serving of pork rinds, two of my sugar-free jellos, which I really love, um, and two fat bombs. I don't, I'd have to check the, the serving size of the actual recipe because they're not very big, so it could be one or two, but. Either way, we're uh, doing pretty good on our macros. That bulletproof coffee that we made was so full of fat, we really didn't feel hungry at all. And so I'm gonna enjoy this dinner. Have I like to have one Pyrate a day. Got a little bit of electrolytes in it, so we will also be having one more meal when I get home. So we'll see you guys soon. Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Just about to wrap this night up. I put together something to eat when I got home. Right here, we got these a keto waffle and I've done a video on that I think on the full day of eating if you want to look at that video to learn how to make a keto waffle they're delicious um, got a couple of eggs with a little bit of salsa three pieces of cook, it already comes fully cooked bacon uh, it's like 80 calories for the three slices and then here are miracle noodles they're like zero calorie and then I just threw some cinnamon um, some stevia a little heavy whipping cream and some uh, sugar-free brown sugar syrup to <clears throat> just for a little dessert and then I'll be using the zero calorie Walden Farms pancake syrup for my waffles so just gonna wrap up this day three vlog um, hope you guys enjoyed the ride along with me today it's been a long day so I'm getting ready to just have this dinner and go to sleep pretty tired 
and we will get with you guys tomorrow. So life's too short. Have a fantastic night.